How did it all begin? How did we get from the vast emptiness of space to a planet teeming with life? This is the story of everything, a journey through 13.8 billion years of cosmic history, from the universe's fiery birth to the emergence of life on Earth. Buckle up, we're about to dive headfirst into the mind-bending story of everything. Let's start at the beginning a fraction of a second after the Big Bang. Imagine our universe smaller than an atom, infinitely hot and dense. Then, an explosion, an expansion unlike anything we can fathom. From this primordial soup emerged the building blocks of everything we know. Particles collided, fused and transformed, giving rise to the first elements, the first stars, the first galaxies. This is Earth, our home, and its story is just as remarkable. And at the heart of it all, you'll find yourself, a product of billions of years of cosmic evolution. Our journey begins 13.8 billion years ago, in a moment of unimaginable intensity and heat, the Big Bang. Picture the entire universe condensed into a point smaller than an atom, infinitely dense, incredibly hot. Then, in a fraction of a second, everything changed. The universe didn't explode into being, it expanded. Space itself stretched, inflated at a rate faster than the speed of light. Gravity, electromagnetism, the strong and weak nuclear forces, all sprang into existence, shaping the universe's destiny. The Big Bang was not just an ending, it was the beginning of everything we know and love. As the universe expanded and cooled, energy began to condense into matter. The first particles to emerge were quarks and gluons, the building blocks of protons and neutrons. Imagine a cosmic dance floor with particles colliding and swirling in a frenzy of activity. Some collisions resulted in annihilation, matter transforming back into pure energy. But others led to the formation of more complex particles, laying the foundation for the universe we know today. It was a time of creation, a time when the fundamental building blocks of matter came into existence. As the universe continued to expand and cool, a pivotal moment occurred. Light was finally free to travel through space. Before this, the universe was a dense, opaque fog of charged particles. But around 380,000 years after the Big Bang, the universe had cooled enough for atoms to form, releasing a flood of light that has been traveling through the cosmos ever since. This light, known as the Cosmic Microwave Background, or CMB, is a faint afterglow of the Big Bang, a snapshot of the universe in its infancy. Imagine tuning an old radio to a static-filled channel. That static, that faint hiss, is the CMB, a whisper from the dawn of time. The discovery of the CMB in the 1960s was a landmark event in cosmology, providing strong evidence for the Big Bang Theory. For millions of years after the Big Bang, the universe was a vast, dark expanse. It was filled with hydrogen and helium, the simplest elements, remnants of the universe's fiery birth. But within this darkness, gravity was at work, silently pulling matter together, setting the stage for the first stars to ignite. Imagine a sea of gas, spread thin, but unimaginably vast. Gravity, the architect of the cosmos, drew more and more gas into these regions, like rivers flowing into a growing lake. As these gas clouds grew denser, their cores became hotter and hotter under the immense pressure. Finally, when the temperature and pressure reached a critical point, nuclear fusion ignited in the heart of the cloud and the first stars burst into existence. These first stars were colossal, hundreds of times more massive than our sun, and they burned with an intense bluish-white light. These first stars, known as Population 3 stars, lived fast and died young. Their immense size meant they burned through their nuclear fuel at a furious rate, exhausting their hydrogen supply in just a few million years. But their deaths were just as spectacular as their lives. Imagine a star, 
hundreds of times larger than our sun, reaching the end of its life. It had exhausted its hydrogen fuel and its core began to collapse under its own gravity, triggering a supernova explosion of unimaginable power. These supernova explosions were crucial for the evolution of the universe, forging heavier elements that would later form planets and, ultimately, life itself. While the first stars were igniting and exploding, gravity was busy on a grander scale. It drew together vast clouds of gas, spanning millions of light years, gradually shaping them into the first galaxies. Imagine countless stars, billions upon billions of them, swirling in a vast cosmic ballet, bound together by gravity's invisible hand. These were the first galaxies, islands of light in the expanding universe. These early galaxies were smaller and more irregular than the majestic spiral and elliptical galaxies we see today. One of these early galaxies, a swirling cloud of gas and dust, would eventually evolve into our own Milky Way galaxy. Our journey now takes us to a remote corner of the Milky Way galaxy, billions of years after the Big Bang. Here, within a vast swirling cloud of gas and dust, known as a nebula, a new chapter in cosmic history was about to unfold. This nebula, like countless others scattered throughout the universe, was a stellar nursery, a place where stars were born. Within this swirling nebula, gravity once again played its cosmic role. Over millions of years, gravity drew gas and dust towards a central point, like a sculptor shaping clay. As more and more material fell inward, the cloud's core grew denser, hotter, and began to spin faster and faster, like a spinning top gaining momentum. As the proto-sun at the heart of our solar system continued to grow, the surrounding material began to flatten into a swirling disk. This disk, known as a protoplanetary disk, was composed of the same gas and dust that made up the original nebula, but now it was spinning around the newborn star like a giant cosmic carousel. Within this disk, tiny particles of dust, no bigger than grains of sand, were constantly colliding and sticking together, a process known as accretion. These tiny particles gradually grew larger, forming pebbles, then boulders, and eventually planetesimals, small, rocky bodies that were the building blocks of planets. Over millions of years, the planetesimals in the protoplanetary disk continued to collide and grow, their orbits crossing and intertwining in a complex cosmic dance. Some collisions were destructive, shattering these planetary embryos into smaller pieces, but others were constructive, merging them into larger and larger bodies. This chaotic process, driven by gravity and chance encounters, shaped the destiny of our solar system. The formation of the solar system was a complex and chaotic process, a delicate balance between gravity, collisions, and the properties of the protoplanetary disk. Our journey now takes us to a young Earth, still reeling from its violent formation. Imagine a world vastly different from the one we know today. The surface, a molten sea of magma, glowed with an infernal red heat, punctuated by erupting volcanoes that spewed lava and gases into the primordial atmosphere. Asteroids and comets, remnants from the solar system's formation, bombarded the planet's surface, leaving behind craters and further heating the already molten landscape. But even in this hellish environment, the seeds of life were being sown. As Earth cooled, water vapour condensed, forming the first oceans. The precise details of how life arose from non-living matter remain one of science's greatest mysteries. But we know it happened, somewhere in those early oceans, billions of years ago. Imagine a world without life, a world of just rocks, water and a turbulent atmosphere. Then, in a series of remarkable events, the impossible occurred. Perhaps it was in the depths of the oceans, near hydrothermal vents spewing hot, mineral-rich water from the Earth's interior, where the first life forms emerged. Or maybe it was in shallow pools of water on the surface, bathed in the sun's ultraviolet radiation, where the building blocks of life first assembled. These were the first stirrings of life, the ancestors of every living thing on Earth today. 
For billions of years, life on Earth remained microscopic, confined to the oceans. The atmosphere was still toxic to most life forms, lacking the oxygen we breathe today. But then, around 2.4 billion years ago, a dramatic shift occurred, an event that would forever change the course of life on Earth. Among the early prokaryotes, a new type of organism emerged, cyanobacteria, also known as blue-green algae. These remarkable organisms possessed a new ability photosynthesis. They could harness the energy of sunlight to convert carbon dioxide and water into sugars, releasing oxygen as a byproduct. Imagine the Earth's atmosphere slowly changing color from a hazy reddish brown to a clearer blue as oxygen levels gradually rose. This transformation, known as the Great Oxidation Event, was a pivotal moment in Earth's history. The rise of oxygen had profound consequences for life. It led to the formation of the ozone layer, which shielded the Earth's surface from harmful ultraviolet radiation, allowing life to venture out of the oceans and onto land. It also paved the way for the evolution of more complex life forms, including our own distant ancestors. As life diversified and flourished in the oceans, a new chapter was about to begin on land. Plants, having established themselves on the shores, gradually spread inland, transforming the barren landscape into a verdant tapestry of forests and swamps. And with this new abundance of plant life came the rise of the dinosaurs. Imagine a world untouched by humans, a world where giant reptiles ruled supreme. Dinosaurs descended from a group of reptiles that had adapted to life on land, evolved into a stunning array of shapes and sizes, from the mighty Tyrannosaurus rex to the long-necked Brachiosaurus, from the armored Ankylosaurus to the swift Velociraptor. For over 180 million years, dinosaurs dominated the planet. They roamed across vast continents, their thunderous footsteps shaking the ground. They adapted to a wide range of environments, from lush rainforests to arid deserts. Some were herbivores, grazing on the abundant vegetation, while others were fearsome predators, hunting down their prey with deadly precision. The age of dinosaurs was a time of incredible biodiversity and evolutionary innovation. Dinosaurs developed complex social structures, raised their young with care, and evolved remarkable adaptations, like feathers for insulation and display. They were a testament to the power of evolution, a lineage of creatures that thrived for longer than any other group of large animals in Earth's history. The reign of the dinosaurs, though long and prosperous, was not destined to last forever. Unbeknownst to these magnificent creatures, a cataclysmic event was brewing in the depths of space, an event that would bring their era to a sudden and dramatic end. Imagine, if you will, a day like any other in the late Cretaceous period. Dinosaurs roamed the land, pterosaurs soared through the skies, and marine reptiles patrolled the oceans. But then, without warning, a fiery streak appeared in the sky, growing larger and brighter with each passing moment. It was an asteroid, six miles wide, hurtling towards Earth at an incredible speed. The impact, when it came, was devastating. The asteroid slammed into the Yucatan Peninsula with the force of a billion atomic bombs, unleashing unimaginable shockwaves, tsunamis that ravaged coastlines, and wildfires that raged across continents. The impact ejected trillions of tons of molten rock and dust into the atmosphere, engulfing the planet in a suffocating shroud. The skies darkened, the sun's light blocked out for months, perhaps years. Temperatures plummeted, plants withered and died, and the food chain collapsed. The dinosaurs, along with countless other species, were doomed. The Chicxulub impact, as it came to be known, marked a turning point in Earth's history. It brought an abrupt end to the Mesozoic era, the age of dinosaurs, and ushered in the Cenozoic era, the age of mammals. But from the ashes of this global catastrophe, new life would emerge. In the aftermath of the impact, the Earth was a desolate wasteland, but life, 
tenacious and adaptable, found a way to survive. Small, burrowing mammals who had weathered the worst of the disaster underground emerged into a changed world. With the dinosaurs gone, mammals were free to diversify and evolve, filling the ecological niches left vacant by their predecessors. They spread across the continents, evolving into a dazzling array of forms, from tiny shrews to giant whales, from swift predators to gentle grazers. Among these early mammals were the ancestors of primates, a group that would eventually give rise to monkeys, apes, and ultimately humans. The Chicxul of Impact, though a tragedy for the dinosaurs, paved the way for the rise of our own lineage, a testament to life's resilience and the unexpected turns that evolution can take. As we reach the end of our extraordinary journey through time and space, we can't help but feel a sense of awe and wonder. From the Big Bang's fiery birth to the emergence of life on Earth, we've witnessed the universe's incredible transformation. Stars are born, live, and die, seeding the cosmos with the elements that make up everything we know. We've marveled at the formation of galaxies and traced the origins of our solar system. On a small blue planet, life emerged and evolved into the rich tapestry we see today. As we reflect on this cosmic journey, we're reminded that we are part of something much greater than ourselves. The story of the universe, however, is far from over. It's a story that's still being written, a grand cosmic drama with new chapters unfolding every moment. While we can trace our history back to the Big Bang, the universe's ultimate fate remains a mystery, a tantalizing question that continues to drive scientific inquiry. Will the universe continue to expand forever, growing colder and darker as stars slowly fade away? Or will gravity eventually halt this expansion, pulling everything back together in a big crunch, a mirror image of the Big Bang? And what of life itself? Will it continue to evolve on Earth and perhaps on other planets yet to be discovered? Will we encounter other intelligent beings in the vastness of space, sharing our stories and unraveling the universe's mysteries together? These are questions that we can't answer with certainty, but they ignite our imaginations and inspire us to keep exploring, keep discovering, keep pushing the boundaries of our knowledge. The universe is full of wonders, and we are fortunate to be alive at a time when we can begin to comprehend its grandeur and our place within it. So, let us continue to explore, to question, to marvel at the universe's beauty and mystery. The story of everything is still being written, and we, as inheritors of this cosmic legacy, have the privilege of being a part of it.